A social media marketing agency is what you're running or want to start maybe as a side hustle or a full-time gig. And in this video, I'm going to do a walkthrough of reputation management because the audience has told me they need it. Based on this last video about how to make about 500 bucks per client per month, uh, helping them with review management, getting more reviews on Google. And it was more of an overview. As I stated in the video, I was just going to kind of show it off real quick. And then I haphazardly said to uh, look in the description for the snapshot of it, if you're using uh, Go High Level. And then all of a sudden, everybody was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. I have it, I have it, I have it. Uh, a little confused, a little confused. So uh, that, I'm gonna clear up all the confusion and I've actually dumbed it down. And if you want another shot at this snapshot, uh, comment down below and I will within you know a day or so um, drop you the link. Um, why comment? Well, it helps push this video out. So that would actually be very beneficial to me because I think a lot of people will wanna see this. And YouTube's not going to show it to anybody unless you're liking and subscribing and commenting, all that good stuff you always hear on YouTube videos. And speaking of YouTube videos, uh, if you're the kind of YouTuber or person that likes to put uh, other people's names in the title or in the description, uh, more power to you. But it's expected. Anyway, and so I actually expect uh, my audience that if I ever do that, if I ever have that lapse of judgment, right, if I ever move away from the core values that I am as a human, make sure you call me out on that, okay? Because just to put people's names and titles and descriptions and try to rank and all that good stuff, it's a dirty business. Anyway, back to business, right? This is about reputation management. Uh, this is about um, being able to offer a service to your clients that will help them get more reviews, which in turn will help them rank. And we do this with, I'd like to call database reactivation, um, but like message marketing would be, I'll do another video on message marketing, but database reactivation or message marketing is uh, more to bring money in uh, for a client. And reputation management is more about, let me go back to all of my uh, clients in the past who may not have leave the review and let me go ask them to leave a review, okay? So as you can see, I'm starting here with a nice fresh clean slate. And I believe I already added a phone number, but obviously you're gonna need an email, uh, you're gonna need SMTP hooked up, domain, and a phone number, obviously, uh, so you can have the automations work, okay? If you don't have that, it's not gonna work. So the first thing I wanna do, I wanna lay out, I'm gonna try very hard not to make this a long video because this is now the third time I've done it. Why, James? I don't know why. I think my computer usage is like being filled up, filled up and eventually I kinda just pause in the middle of the video and all you hear is my voice. So I gotta stay under like 20 minutes, 20 minutes. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is by setting this up, we're going to go, um, let's go look at our automations first, okay? In our review, review management folder, okay, the first thing that you're gonna notice, if you're grabbing the snapshot, I'm gonna turn this off. If you're grabbing the snapshot, um, is that all of these are off, right? So we have a C1, C2, a C1-2, uh, and a C1-2. All we're doing is campaign one. So that's how you know which one, which one of, which one's a campaign. So this is campaign one, campaign two. And then um, what other features are needed to have the automation run. So you can see here campaign one also goes with this one and this one. Campaign two also goes with this one and this one, okay? In this video, and I will do another video on the ongoing reputation management the ongoing way to do it, okay? I know a lot of people wanna see that, so when I have time, I will do that as well, but I'm not gonna talk about this. This is the quick win. So we go into the automations, okay? I, I, if you have goal high level, I don't need to explain this to you, right? Um, customer appreciation giveaway. Uh, we have a text message and an email. We're gonna wait a day, text message, email, wait, a, wait five days, text message, email. And then if somebody does click the link to leave a review, we wanna remove them from that, okay? so. The reason why I'm gonna do that is that's review link clicked. We're going to establish that connection with a trigger link, okay? Don't worry, I'm gonna go through a little bit deeper into each of these. All right, so now we have our review link clicked and as you can see here, reactivation review link has been clicked and that is what's going to start this automation. Okay, remember campaign one and two, so we're using this for campaign one. 
we're going to add a tag, review link clicked, and then we're gonna remove from any automation that they're in, all right? And negative feedback received, if they submit on the form, which I'll go through, uh, a three star, two, two star, one star, we're gonna remove them from any automation, we're gonna add a feedback, negative feedback tag, and then we're gonna, in, we're gonna internally notify our client to let them know somebody just provided a feedback, all right? And then we're gonna email the person who provided the bad feedback, uh, it's just something that says, sorry about your experience, we're, we're working on it type thing, okay? All right, and that would be taking care of the automations. You don't need C2, you're gonna just do campaign one, and then these two automations go with that. That is to remove them from this one, all right? Because we don't, if somebody leaves a review, we don't wanna keep hitting them up, all right? That's the automation piece. Now we're gonna go into the custom, uh, let's do the form first, let's go sites. The only form you're gonna be working with is something called reputation review form, stars and review with gate. All this is is, and don't worry, some people have asked me like, how do you get the stars? If you get the snapshot, they'll be there. So what you can see here is it's going to show you, all right, uh, basically a two-step situation, right, with some scripts in here. And so if they leave a one, two, or three, it's gonna show them the, sorry to hear you're not satisfied, all right? First, then the, the, the person who's leaving the review is gonna put their first name, their email, and their feedback. Okay, you can see down here, review us on Google, that's gonna be pulling from the custom values, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, review us on Facebook and review us on the fallback location, right? And this is all dependent on whatever the user is logged into. All right, um, and so that's that. Now, in order to get this integration, you click integrate form, proceed, and you can do an embed code or a link, but in this uh, scenario, we're using the link, okay? So that is the form. What does the form look like here? It looks like this. Now I'll leave that open for the walkthrough of that. Once we're done with the forms, right? This is really nothing to do. Um, I'm just showing them to you. You're gonna go over to custom values and this is where it, it's important to set this up properly, okay? So this is kind of self-explanatory, right? Custom values, uh, if you see values here in your snapshot, just you can get rid of them and, and change them. The company name is Elite Fitness. That's who I'm running the rep management for. The owner's name is Joseph, and we're gonna give away a $50 gift card, Amazon gift card. And make sure your customer is actually gonna do that. And by the way, as the person doing this, you should do it. You should go and buy the $50 Amazon gift card and tell your client, don't worry, I got that. This is what we're doing, and this is how we're gonna get you a boatload of reviews. Um, location name, because in case they have different locations, but this one doesn't, so we're just gonna put Elite Fitness. Uh, review Facebook URL, you're gonna put, um, where they leave the reviews, right? You can see slash reviews. This is actually mine. Don't know why that, that's there, but um, it's fine. Any Facebook with reviews. Uh, review fallback location. Essentially, it's like if they're logged in, if, if somebody is not logged into Facebook or Google, where do you want them to go, right? And we always want to send them to Google. Uh, the review fallback URL, right? So if, if Google is our location, that's just gonna be the link. I mean, that's just gonna be the word in the link that's holding this is the few, uh, fallback URL, which is right here, okay? Now, there's a step here, I'll do it after, of where to get this, okay? Uh, again, uh, review Google URL right here, review reactivation form link right here, it's just the form link, this is the form link, putting that right here, and review request form, so there's two, remember campaign one and campaign two, you might as well set this up. Here's campaign one, and here's campaign two, all right? But just put them both in there, this form link right here. Uh, and then the user first name or the client's first name, Joseph. Okay? Uh, all right. So that is our custom values. Now, to get this URL, okay, you're, all you're going to do is go to reputation management. Uh, I'm sorry. You're going to go to integrations, connect your client's Google My Business profile or Google Business profile to this uh, ATB sub account or a Go high level sub account, sign in with them, connect it. Once you do that, you're gonna to go to reputation management and hit generate link, right? Obviously it tells you you need to integrate it first. And then the, that review URL, you're gonna copy it and you're gonna put it into the custom value right here, okay? Very, 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 very simple, all right? And the last piece of this is trigger links. And we're gonna go trigger links, okay? Here's our trigger links, okay? Um, so. Basically, Google review link, right? 
here's our link URL. It's going to pull from your custom value. This is a custom value. Reactivation review link, this is a custom value. Review request link, this is a custom value. So if you screenshot that and you go into your settings, and you go to custom values, you're gonna see them right here. Review Google URL, reactivation form link, and review request link. These are the custom values right here, right here, and right here. And the reason why we're doing that is because we need to create the, the trigger link to move around in the automations. It's the only reason why we do that, all right? And plus, when, when we're using custom uh, values, then if I need to change this link, I don't have to go into each step of the process and change it because in each step of the process where there is a request form link and I use this, then all I gotta do is change it here, right? And then it'll change everywhere that it needs to be changed. That's the whole point of custom values. All right, so if we go back to automations, review management, okay? Our trigger here, once it let, let it populate, is we are going to trigger the automation to get more reviews uh, with a tag, reactivation review. You can upload the contacts, right? Add the tag after, add the tag before, uh, and then it'll start, okay? Uh, once you do that, everybody's gonna start going through here. So you wanna make sure you edit your, you know, obviously you wanna edit this stuff and make sure it makes sense and for, your, for the business that you're running. Um, so you're gonna go in here, okay? And uh, hey, this is, you know, it's gonna pull custom value with custom value location. We're doing a, a cust, uh, appreciation giveaway of the custom value um, $50 Amazon gift card was what we have. It only takes 10 seconds. And here's our trigger link, right? This automation is saying, if somebody clicks this, it's going to start another one, which is going to remove it from here and start that one, okay? Depending on what they do in the process. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to edit those. Um, you're gonna want, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to edit your emails. So, from name, from email, right? Uh, customer appreciates. So, so, you just need to edit this stuff, all right? And then go on, so on and so forth. It's not a lot of stuff you could do it in five minutes, all right? And then, uh, so once we edit all this stuff and we turn it live, okay? So, let me go ahead and turn these live, okay? So, these are now live, all right? And we're gonna leave the campaign two off. And uh, we're gonna test it. So let's go to contacts. Okay, so I added, uh, I wanna test this with my phone, so I put my real phone number there. Um, there is no tag yet, and so it hasn't started. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna go to general. Now, you can do it also. You can push them into a campaign, and then hit this push, okay? And then choose the, you're gonna put them into the quick win giveaway. All right, campaign one. So it's only showing you which ones are published. Uh, Oh, I'll push them in. Oh, let me let me do it with the tag. I want to do it the right way. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to come down to tag. Reactivation review. So the tag was added. I got my text right here. And I got my email. Voila. Right? Uh, so let's take a look uh, here. Let me scroll down so my phone number is not there. I think I can now show it. Yes. Okay, so now if they click this link, okay, here's my, uh, how do you rate us? So let's say I rate you five stars. Now it'll say, review us on Google. Okay, and then this is the Google I have tied to it. Okay, that's the, that's the URL um, that I put in there, which I generated in the system, okay? Um, and then in the email, okay, Let's say I leave a two-step. And then let's say I do Jeremy is mad, not happy. All right, and now you can make this page anything you want from in the form, okay? You could redirect them to like a, like a, a funnel page that has maybe a video of your client that is apologizing for their bad uh, you know, service and we'll do anything to make, make up for it. How can we make up for it, right? you know, click to schedule a call with us or just call our office manager, yada, 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 right? That could be done here or you could just have, you know, make this as big as you want. Our management will get back to you, okay? Um, and so I guess I could show that. So to do that, go into the forms, options. You could have on submit, open URL or message, right? So this is the current message I have. You could change the color of it, make it bigger, make it like 
I don't know, 35. Save form, right? And so if I do that, test it like that, uh, then, well, it hasn't propagated yet, but then that would be bigger, okay? If we go over to automations and take a look, um, total enrolled, but look, active enrolled is nothing because I clicked the trigger link, it removed me, and I, you know, put me once in here and once in the negative received feedback. So if I go over to the conversations, okay, um, this was uh, whenever I clicked the link, uh, they also got the email here, and then I led a, left a bad review, and it says, Jeremy, thank you for sharing your experience with us. Our management team is reviewing your feedback, right? And then internally, I got this. As the client would get this, James is, uh, uh, James has just provided some uh, negative feedback on your on their experience. Here's what they gave you out of five, two stars. Feedback, you know, that was my quick one. Reach out to them as soon as possible. Here's their email, okay? Um, and I didn't have, I deleted the phone number. All right, so that is, they like that's it guys. Now you also may see lead management. This is just our appointment confirmation uh, and reminder, internally notifying if you have somebody booking appointments. And uh, missed call text back is just another quick one that, you know, you want to make sure is off if you don't want it, okay? But one thing I want to make very, very clear is that always make sure that your automations, if, especially if you're taking a snapshot, that they are off because you're going to be in a world of hurt if you somehow upload a list of 50 contacts and it, it wasn't supposed to trigger, right? Another thing to always keep in mind is always make sure there's a filter on your trigger, right? If this was not here, which is, has happened to me, it'll put anybody that you upload in the system through here, right? There needs to be a filter, okay? So in summary, these are the six things that you really need to do when you get a snapshot like this. Number one, check your automations, edit them in the content. Number two, just take a look in the forms. Where do you want them to go on submit? Number three, fill out all your custom values. Number four, Integrate the Google Business Profile and get the review link. Number five, just check out your trigger links. Um, they should already be set. There shouldn't really be anything you need to do. Uh, number six would be edit the content, look at everything, turn on uh, your automations, and then test, test, test. That is how you could set up reputation management. If you do it once, it'll take you a little bit longer, but you could set this whole thing up in 10, 15 minutes for every single client. And it's 500 bucks a month a pop. And the, in the next, it might not be the next video, but in videos to come, I will do the ongoing reputation management of clients that where as they come into the system, they're just automatically getting it uh, and how to set that up. Uh, it's very, very similar to this. You could probably figure it out, but people have asked me to do that. So I'd like to end the video there and please comment down below if there's any other videos you want me to do uh, to give me good content ideas, like subscribe, turn the notifications on. And like I said before, comment down below. I appreciate your time and I hope Hope, hope this is helpful. Talk soon. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.